today, Luke here from Artistic Coffee and uh, just wanted to go through a couple of the key factors when you're designing your cafe. We always um, seem to get in on the scene when people want their coffee machine or their grinder in place. But when we get there, we find that the grinder's not in the right spot to the coffee machine to a good workflow. And it's imperative to have a great workflow in your cafe so that you can get your customers in the door, get them to order quickly and get out so you can make as many sales as you can in your peak period. So we just want to take you through a few of the basics and hope you get something out of it today. So the first thing to think about is where you're going to take your order from. Uh, you're going to have your obviously FPOS and your POS terminal. So if you're going to have customers coming in from the side, we're going to have that so the customer's going to order from the right hand side and we want them to exit from the left. If you're going to have them order on the left hand side, we want them to then flow out and pick up on the right hand side. The pickup point is really crucial because you want to make sure that they're getting their coffee and their food at the same time and not having a crossover between your two queues. So for our purposes today, we're going to start with our ordering on my right hand side. So the next thing is your coffee machine. It's going to be the central part to your workflow. We want to have the orders come in, be processed and then go out to our customers. Where you're going to put your grinder now is either going to be on the right hand side or your left hand side. In this example, we really would love to have our grinder right here. So we've got our grinder here now, and we want to make sure that we're getting that workflow. So one of the crucial things we see is getting the group handle to be able to access the grinder to get your coffee, pop it in here, and then be able to pump out a lot more espresso. For some reason, in a lot of shops we go to, we do see the actual grinder behind us. And all that's going to do is allow the staff member continually to dance. <laughs> I know if I keep doing that all day, I'm going to be really, really dizzy. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense to be able to grind, pack our shots, and then have someone else do milk on the other side. The next important part is where you're going to be frothing your milk. So obviously we want to utilize the left hand frother. So we're going to have our milk over here um, using obviously our milk jugs and you'll have your bottles underneath. So you can also speed that service up with an automated milk system. Our recommendation is the iMilk system and check out one of our other videos to see what iMilk's all about and how it can really speed up this service of your actual coffee. So the other hot tip that I really want to give you is how to process the order from here and get it out as quick as you can. Especially when you're doing takeaways, the best way to do it is right on the cup. Nearly. Nearly. <laughs> so if you've got a cup, um, this is the one piece that's actually going to travel all the way through. You can write you know, the customer's name on there, good old Bob's going to have a coffee, there can be a cap and one sugar. You can have your sugar and your syrups right here at the order point and be throwing those in and just passing them up ready to be made. In this process the customer is always happy to communicate with the person on the till and also take their payment. We know it takes a bit of time for you to actually take that payment but the cup is already in the process of production so you're already making the coffee. You're going to start utilizing that extra minute to get the coffees out of there. By the time they've paid, they get their wrap, their roll, or whatever it might be that you've got on the counter that you're giving them, that coffee should be ready over there for collection. So your barista is not standing here having to worry about a huge range of dockets, have to read them and then work out what's happening with each cup. We do see a lot of people use lids, and again, lids is just something else that you're moving along. It might as well be a piece of paper, where the cup is the only thing that's going to go from espresso straight in front of the um, person who's frothing milk and we'll be able to pour out and the whole time because you've got it written on the cup you'll be able to see what's going on. The other thing we've been doing for years is using the good old tamper. Uh, you know getting the group handle and turning and tamping obviously increases a lot of RSI. We're a huge fan of the good old puck press. So if you're going to get yourself a puck press it's going to go in between your grinder and your coffee machine and really allow you to get your coffee, get your grind tamped, load it into a machine and that's so much better on your body. 
So as a whole kit, when you're looking at investing in equipment, that's great. It's a lot of money to have on a bench here. But looking at the actual workflow and how it's going to um, process your orders quickly in that peak hour of the day, that's actually going to be the one that's going to make you the money. Yes, you can make a lot of coffees over a whole day, but being able to produce that extra 20 or 30 per hour um, over your competitor next door is where you're going to really make those, uh, those benefits because you've still got your fixed costs on equipment, your fixed costs on electricity and wages, but the production volume is actually going to be a lot higher. Thanks for watching us today. I hope you got something out of it with the workflow. If you've got any other questions, feel free to reach out, like us and subscribe, and uh, feel free to leave us a comment. We'd love to uh, hear what you've got to say. Catch you next time.